Okay, in this video we're going to go on to our third learning objective in this section, which is to solve real-life problems using intercepts, x and y intercepts. And so, we have here example number three, modeling with mathematics. You are planning an awards banquet for your school. You need to rent tables to seat 180 people. Tables come in two sizes. Small tables seat six people. Large tables seat ten people. The equation 6x plus 10y equals 180 models this situation where x is the number of small tables and y is the number of large tables. All right, so again, small tables seat six people. And how many small tables will we use? We'll use x small tables. The large tables seat 10. And we'll use y of those tables. So how many people will sit at a small table? 6 times the number of small tables that we have. How many will sit at a large table? 10 times the number of large tables that we have. When we add the two of those values together, we're going to get the total number of people seated at both small and large tables, and that's 180. So here the equation is given, but you will need to be able to construct these equations, and they're not difficult to do. If we have x number of small tables, each one seating six people, then we have 6 times x number of people at the small tables, 10 times y people sitting at the large tables, and a sum, a total between the two of them, of 180 people. All right, so again, we want to graph the equation, interpret the intercepts. So we're going to let x equal 0. When x is 0, 6 times 0 is 0, and we get the equation 10y is equal to 180. 10 times what is 180? 10 times 18 is 180, and so we get the point 0, 18. When y is 0, along the x-axis, when y is 0, we have the equation 6x is equal to 180. 6 times what is 180? 6 times 30 is 180, and so we have the point 30, comma, 0. Now, all we need to do is graph those, and we want to find four possible solutions in the context of this problem. So I'm going to scroll down to the graph. All right, so when we bring the graph into this, we're going to first start by plotting our two enter intercepts. x is equal to 0, y is equal to 18. So x is 0, y is 18. It's going to be that point right there. And then x is 30, y is 0, and that's going to be that point right there. All right, next we're going to draw a line carefully through those two points. Okay, and when I do that,